So when they said you just leave the house and you just spend a hundred dollars, there we go. Hi friends, we are in the car again. So today, there's this fragrance. I thought it was a fragrance event, but it's just a fragrance pop-up shop that I'm going to in Nashville. And of course, everything just went wrong this morning. So yeah, I'm on the way. They say get there between 10 and 11. I'll get there at 10.30, so that's not late, right? <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna meet one of another creator that I met on Instagram, we're gonna get coffee. Um, I don't know what else I'm doing today, but it's just not starting off as a great day. And I hate every time I'm in my car trying to vlog, it's like a car that wants to stop right next to me and look at me. I gotta get tense ASAP. But anyways, yeah, we had in Nashville. I think it's gonna be a short trip though, cause I know she has something to do, so. Mm, and it kinda like it's gonna rain, even though the weather said it wasn't. We'll see, but yeah, I got on brown leggings. I had this great idea of like putting a cute outfit on, but I can't fit my pants. So leggings it is. Anyway, the life in the change, bye. Cause I'm probably not finna do nothing. I'm probably about to go home. Cause what the hell? Y'all, I'm literally, I just saw the girl. I was finna, I'm gonna tell her. Do you wanna just get coffee? Y'all, they gave us the wrong address for the place. And now I'm just driving around in Nashville trying to find my way. This pisses me off. Like it made me not wanna go. For real, and then I'm have to pay for parking. Like, I'm about to be like, let's just meet for coffee somewhere or something else, cause this is pissing me off. I don't even care at this point. <sighs> So I just wanted to pause to explain why I was disappointed in this event staff. Firstly, they changed the address. They didn't, they were very unclear with the addresses and things like that. The day before they sent us some emails saying that the address for the venue would be different. I didn't even know it was a van until I saw it like on their story or whatever. And then like literally before the like time slot was up, they sent us an email like, well, we heard some influencers were going to the wrong address. So just so y'all know, this is the address. That was kind of the tone of the email they sent out after it was very unclear. Um, and the people just didn't really accept any kind of like ownership of anything. So I wrote back and I was like, you know, um, it was just kind of unclear so I can see why people went to the wrong venue or whatever. And then a lady wrote back and sent me some Canva template like, well, this is the event we sent out da, 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 and I didn't even receive that Canva template prior to the pop-up shop it was just crazy and unprofessional and um when i went in to like look at the fragrances and stuff like that the lady that was presenting she only focused on the other two young women which were not like me um and she barely paid me any attention so i looked at the stuff smelled it got my little sample set and literally by the time i got that and got back to my car i had the ticket and of course when i reached out to them they didn't want to help with that because it's not their responsibility so yeah uh, this was a zero out of ten a waste of my time nothing against the specific company but the team that they used for this particular pop-up shop was trash it feels incredible y'all mm -hmm. yeah. i'm so aggravated so they changed the location of it and it was like a van or something and there was parking spots behind and they were like paid parking spots right but they were like oh it shouldn't take long blah, blah blah so i got there at 11 and i like went in i got a ticket within four minutes of me parking i got a ticket like this man had just been wait waiting for me to walk away from my car 
and go ticket it because literally I got there at 11, walked to the thing, was in there for a couple minutes and came back out. And when I went, came back to my car, it said ticketed at 11.04. And I'm pissed because, like, the parking, like, I just feel like if you're having a pop-up shop or something, one, don't keep changing the location, and two, y'all should figure out the parking because all the parking, it was stuff going on. Parking was, like, 15 to $20. So I was just like, okay, if it's just for, like, five minutes, then, like, five to ten minutes, I'm going to just run over here and come back. You know what I mean? Because it was, like, literally the van and then right behind it was parking spots or whatever and the other girls they were like no nah, we ain't paying it we're just gonna do it real quick because we're here to like shoot content right i came back to my car y'all wonder how much it takes us a hundred and fifteen dollars a hundred and fifteen dollars it was a pop-up shop I had to th drive 30 minutes to get there. So when they said you just leave the house and you just spend $100, there we go. I literally just wanted to run in there, get the shit, and go, go back to my car. And even if it was a ticket, I'm like, okay, maybe like a $20, $30 ticket. $115? I'm done for today. Okay, guys, so I got a new vanity. I'm making a video for TikTok shop. I really need a new vanity because the last one had to go because it was a gift and it needed to go. So I'm super excited to put this together and I'm going to try to get some video of it. Y'all, okay. So I thought this was going to be simple. One, one, I didn't even have a screwdriver and a hammer so we had to go to Walmart and buy that. Two, look at all these pieces. And they talk about do the installation in the video. This is going to have to be short. But y'all get the real on YouTube. That's a lot of pieces. Pre about to help me put this together. But let me show y'all. That's the vanity. It lights up and stuff. That's the cool part. Um, but the rest of this, I'm tired of taking these pieces out. Girl, this is well, be the builder. Yeah, so we be the builder. My battery about to die, but I'm gonna come back with my battery charge so y'all can see. Yeah. Ooh, I just woke up. This is gonna be a day two of this because y'all, this took a while. Wait. And we had to go get the screwdriver, but now we have the base. The rest is just like the drawers. I opened the window to see if you can see it better because <clears throat> it was really dark. But anyways, progress. Y'all, I, I thought this was gonna be a lot easier to put together to be honest. <laughs> oh, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I, I just got over here, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Trip on the blanket and shit. <laughs> oh, let me stop. Right yeah. there. Beck, how you doing? You living? You got the food, raw hide, my blanket, your blanket, a mirror. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, babe. Oh, yeah. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here, but I'm gonna finish. We're gonna finish putting this together. But this company got me fucked up because it's one of those things where it kind of like the picture, but it don't. Like the drawers don't look like the picture. Look at the stool. It ain't even drilled on because I ain't put the holes in there. Um, the shelves are smaller than the picture. I'm gonna put the pictures on here for y'all to see. So they like, when you gonna make the content? And I sent them a whole bunch of pictures because no ma'am, no sir. But baby, y'all need to fix them pictures and fix them specs because this ain't what, what it was given in the picture. Actually, the white ones like this didn't even have these knobs. The black version had these knobs and the drawers still look different. Anyway, I got my butter on, but yeah. Bunny B here for the drama because y'all ain't finna have me on the internet looking crazy and my branding looking crazy because y'all not sending the right thing we're not doing that okay okay but it light up though look look at the different we still about to eat with the content and getting ready like i'm so happy to have a new vanity but baby first of all who ass gonna fit on that Luckily, I got a new chair, but, and then, girl, who, that's finna hurt. That's finna hurt like hell. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know we finished it. I'm gonna still put my stuff in it and use it, but 
I don't know about the content. We're gonna see it. But what y'all think? Good morning, y'all. I'm in my Medusa bag, you know. So I blew my hair. I washed my hair yesterday. I blew it out. And I was going to flat iron it. But then I was like, let me do a stretch, like, braid out type thing. But then I saw the girlies was putting those little curl things at the bottom of them. So, baby, I don't have that. So, you know what I did? I used my flexi rods. I don't know how this going to turn out. I And, yeah, ignore my nails. We going through it right now. Anyway, I'm going to have one here. Because I don't know if I'm going to do a video taking them apart. But I'm, I think I'm going to try to put it in the vlog. Yeah, wait, this is my first time doing this. And I'm gonna create a little short form version of it. Yeah, that works. I haven't picked up this vlog camera in a week because life is overwhelming me. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I tried to wrap them around the ends. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, those little, uh, what do they call them? The curling rod things? And they sleep in them, but I don't have those. I got hella freaking flexi rods, so. Here we go. Anyway, I look crazy. I put on a regular shirt because I was like, if I'm putting oil on my hair, I probably don't want it on my little satin thing. Anyway, I'm gonna put some sunscreen on. This, I've been trying this Hello Sunshine Invisible Hydrating Serum Sunscreen and it's SPF 50. This one. Y'all, I don't know if anybody else feel like this, but I just love the way sunscreen gives you a glow. I got a couple breakouts. I got a bump right here. I've been putting that Kiehl's. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I have shared that Kiehl's. I think it's acne clearing solution is what it's called. And when I get spots or like bumps, I put it on there. So I'm putting it on this one. And I get them a lot on my chin. And under here because of like PCOS hair and the ingrown hair breakouts. <sighs> and it works. I just wish I can stop it in general. So I'm going to try this whole waxing thing, y'all. I did try waxing. I did not vlog it. I don't know why I didn't vlog it. I'm going to vlog it next time, I guess. But baby, waxing under my arm was terrible. Terrible. Like, oh my gosh. Like, that's worse than anywhere else I've gotten a wax. So I was like, dang, why is it so bad underneath my armpit? Like, girl... Why does us why does us gonna be doing it? Like that's crazy. That is crazy. I need to shave my nose hair. Do y'all shave your nose hair? I would like to not have to. But the way PCOS be set up, why is it looking crazy? Like this room is like half anime gaming, half aesthetic. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I, I'm also a Vaseline girly. We put Vaseline on lips. But honestly, hopefully I'm moving in a couple months. But I think I'm going to rearrange it even before then because I want it to look better. I haven't filmed it here in forever, but I need to get back in my bag. Now we're about to do the short form. So I'm going to put my phone on here. Where's my phone is? We're going to light up the vanity. Can y'all see it? There it is. Where is my phone? Right here. So I'm trying to do this video and I'm doing it out of the reflection of the vanity. So I'm going to like set up the phone like right here and it's going to be looking in the vanity and me, I'm going to be taking my hair down in the vanity. Because I like how that looks when I see other people do it. Okay, update. I brought the chair up here. Whew, we bombing it, but the content gonna be cute once I'm done. A pair of pants that I had that needed to be tried on, and I probably won't be wearing them anytime soon. It's not a big deal. So um, I'll just bring those when I have more time. Get ready for this facial, girl. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Yo, these new bags from Coach. Y'all, look at these bags. Are you mommy's baby? We're gonna go upstairs and get unready. So let's get unready. Oh, let me show what we got waterproof makeup off because it has oil in it. Remove the makeup and I'm just kind of hold it on the mascara. It revumps girl crazy with it. Real heavy handed. So I'm gonna just use the cleavage Wait, if you want, but it's so gonna be cute. literally 10,000 years to button these buttons up. So this is where they're gonna stay. Um, and then yeah, oh it's just really gosh. cute, slinky, so super cute. comfy, wide leg. 
Okay, this is what we got. So, I'm slightly pleased. I like how I like how it looks when it's loose. I feel like I'm pretty pleased with my first blowout braid out. I think that's what you call them. Um, on blowing out here, like I like how much more length I get with it. It's cute versus when I do a wet, it's like very very tight. So I do like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna like. I like it the first day and not the days after, girly. Or like, do I like it with more definition or less? I think I like it with more definition. So honestly, I would have been probably happier if there was more definition. It's still definition. I just know in like two days, these gonna be gone and it's gonna frizz out because of my how my curl pattern is. So we did pretty good. We did pretty good. And obviously, I haven't pulled some of these out. Next time, I'm gonna do. Ooh, next time, I'm gonna do bigger bigger braids because i wasn't sure if i wanted to do the small braids or the bigger braids but i noticed the bigger braids for the bigger braids i like the definition a lot better um i did bigger in the back like these like that that was a bigger braid so yeah it's cute though Y'all, real quick, I'm gonna get a video. I wax my face and my chin. This is like the Pico scar and then a PTOS scar, and I be talking about. Anyways, I waxed my face yesterday. It looks good. We'll see if we have any breakouts or anything. I tried to wax my lip. Oh, my lips dry. But yeah, since, you know, waxing pulls it out of the root, I wanted to try it. It was so painful. But I want to see how long it lasts and if it gives me, like, some good mental health just from not having to consistently shave my face, we're going to do that. So I haven't been doing any updates with my hair, but this, like, day four. Look. And I actually been wearing the pineapple, but the curls just gone. But it got a lot bigger. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure it out. I feel like I look so crazy right here. But yeah. So, this is what we got. <laughs> hey y'all, uh, I'm looking a mess. I just got out of the shower, I got my night shirt on. And I ain't been vlogging, but I wanted to come over here. Cause y'all, them curls did not last at all. But anyway, my hair is getting dry, so I was gonna try. I've been using this anyway, but I'm gonna put it in my hair now that I have it all out. This is Hair Honey by Whole Blends from, by Garnier. And I like the consistency of it, it's just like, it's like, just like honey really, it's like kind of light. You see when I like, you see how like light it is once I rub it? It feels like an oil mixed with, I don't know, a thinner oil. You know how sometimes oil is like real thick? This really spreads a lot. You see how when I just rub it together, it's just, that's it. So, I like that it's lighter. And I definitely see a noticeable difference. I feel like it coats the hair and makes it a little easier to manage too. My hair gets dry so quickly. Like I said, it's low porosity. I think I said it earlier in this video. But, I'm about to put it in the pineapple because baby, the other thing about wearing my hair out is she be nodding. Like, she be nodding up. Bad. So, I'm, I'm proud and happy I wore it out for this long. But, yeah. Jay, not you kicking my dog in. <laughs> when I was in college, I used to, like, retwist my hair every night or every other night to keep definition. But, baby, that's why I'll be wearing it. <laughs> That's so much work. That's so much work. <clears throat> Do y'all have something, a better alternative? Like this is just the oversized hair tie thing. But if y'all got something better that I can use. Cause this began, my hair began tangled up in it. And yeah, so. This is what we gonna do today. <laughs> 
this look a mess i really dislike how my natural hair looks when it's just pooped out i really do and i don't want to keep straightening it over and over and over again but i really love when it's straight because i could put it in a ponytail i could wear it down i could twist it do like you know but i call myself blowing it out and twisting and braiding it but to me it looks just like how it would normally look when i did the braid out except it looks a little longer but it didn't keep that consistency i think it's the products i use so i'm gonna have to do like maybe just oil based products next time i blow it out and um do it right out to see if that retains it because it just curled right back up yeah so that's what we're doing i hate it but i love this sleep shirt it says this is how we roll isn't it so cute <laughs> but yeah that's my check-in um uh, i have some beauty things i want to do this week like i said i haven't tried this um urban decay face bond that i was sent for pr and for my beauty stuff i'm trying to decide if i want to do like specific videos for them or if i just want to put them in my vlogs because i feel like the specific video for product thing is kind of of the past i used to do it in the past all the time on this channel but i feel like i outgrew it and also it feels like beauty is a lot different now so i don't know and i'm getting some more new beauty products that i've been eyeing in a couple weeks and I'll be trying those as well. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to put that on here. What y'all think? Y'all see my little DIY wall? We used um, the paper. I basically wanted this to be like a background aesthetic for like pictures, maybe podcast content, things like that. And I took the like peel and stick type wall stuff and made stripes on the wall, which I thought was cool, except just the length. And I did want it to be like this, like this short because my desk and my gaming film and stuff is over there. So that worked out. But I gotta redo this room. But my skin is skinning though, y'all. I just did my skincare. Y'all see? Mm -hmm. Yesterday was Mother's Day, and today I just woke up depressed. I'm like, oh God, life is so hard. It just hit me again. It's just one of those days where everything hit me. But today I'm feeling it. So and I probably took a ton of new jobs too. Redid my resume. We've been we've been very productive but my my mental health my morale is just like <sighs> anyway it's my check-in it's my check-in also i told you i waxed my face i definitely got some bumps given like some of this texture and stuff was already there but um i did get i could see a couple where i've gotten bumps or whatever i don't typically get acne besides here and here like the rest of my face is typically okay that's what i'm like i feel like that's like hormonal acne and it'd be so stressful y'all trying to eat right and do all this stuff and take out these vitamins for pcos <sighs> i be having sometimes to just take my day and be like i'll drink my spearmint tea and coffee and then pick up tomorrow there are my thoughts and i'll be making this one a chatty vlog too look i'll be chatty y'all remember when the ashanti collection was going super viral even though like i think she went viral on uh, I think she went viral on YouTube or somewhere before TikTok shop was around. But I had got that back then. Girl, look at this container. I finally went through the whole one. I done had these for forever. You really don't need that much of this body butter. But this was the peach one. Girl, it's gone. I can still scrape a little bit out of it. I might try to get it out. Ooh, I would love to hear what y'all favorite body butters are right now. Comment them down below for real, for real. See, yeah, it's still some good corners in there. And you know, it melt when you rub it. So there's really more product than it look like. I'm just saying. Also, if you're here for my cosplay channel, or if you're here for my cosplay pages, hey, I created a YouTube channel specifically for that, just because I feel like that would make it easier, and this cosplay will be, and that's why I'll do my gaming and cosplay and all my other cozy girl things that's not related to, like, lifestyle or whatever on that channel, so that's where my gaming content and stuff is, so make sure y'all tap in over there, I'll link it, it's linked on my profile, y'all go tap in, we almost at 100 subscribers over there. You girl finally got... A mic stand oh my gosh so when I do talking videos even on this channel or for my gaming channel now I could just talk into it this is the one I had before this one is really good but um it's just like sits and it didn't have a stand so I would have to I have limited space here so I would have to shuffle it out and you could hear it in the audio but yeah we want to get back into this too this is my other camera I think I showed it to y'all before love it now I love it. The one I'm using for vlogging is actually my newest camera, but I think the Canon is better for like 
makeup quality and stuff like that but yeah so i navigate between this camera and my sony zv 1f yeah this is the t6 i wish the screen pops out so yeah i love it i love it i, love it. I also finally start loading my skincare and miscellaneous things into here this is gonna help so much all of this stuff was on my counter in the bathroom and it was getting cluttered girl and i think i showed you this before but i showed it on my story these two sunscreens are the ones i've been using the it it's cosmetics one it's supposed to be a primer and help protect and a serum yeah and then La Roche is just, you know, regular sunscreen, but they both have no cast. And this one is actually 70 SPF. Oh my gosh. And then I've been trying this, y'all. But yeah, by Urban Decay Hydromaniac Blush Glow Hydrator is what it is. But like, y'all. But yeah, besides those bumps, I feel like my skin is like doing a lot better. So I tried to brush that teeth today, y'all. Cause one thing about me, I was thinking about it anyway, and then I saw a video about brushing your dog teeth, and I was like, that's the sign. Y'all, he liked the way this tastes. And I got the front um teeth, but the back teeth, his little mouth, he looking at me. Look, his little, not you in my business. His little mouth, like, he would not let me get them back teeth. I'm trying to get them back teeth. They have like a little finger. This one is like a finger toothbrush thing so i was using this set but if you have a dog and you brush your teeth let me know what y'all be doing because he liked the way it tasted so i could get the front but the back look at him all in my business sorry what you doing you want some more don't you <laughs> you want some more don't you he liked the way that that uh, toothpaste tastes but as far as getting back there y'all see how little his mouth is like, let me see <laughs> yeah, you want to get down now he said no ma'am now she's asking me. <laughs> if you're looking for Bible study material, I highly recommend this company, Alabastico. I have the Book of Psalms and I also have my Bible study guide that I show a lot of my story. I try to do it every day or every other day. I've been slacking a little bit lately. But I really love their materials. Um, if you get them on TikTok shop, they always have sales. And you can check out my page and help me. You want to um, support me, you can use uh buy it for my video basically on my page on my tiktok page but anyways like this one is the book of psalms and you know we were we reference psalms a lot so i'm just like this would be a cool like table book they have a hard cover it'll be cool to just take with you so if you're just in your car or whatever just pop it up and be like let me just look in here and see what they talk about <laughs> so i really really love this like i love this so much they have other individual books too i think they have all the books honestly and then I think there's there's three versions of the Bible study guide. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside the peaceful stream. Y'all remember that song? He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid for you are close behind me or beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. The way I just opened it and turned it to a page and it's like exactly what I needed. So yeah, I'm gonna share that with y'all. Y'all know this one probably, but yeah, it's a good reminder.